thank you so much for clicking on this video and visiting me here at my channel. I'm here today with a video which I mentioned already a few times ago um, before. I mentioned in my previous videos here and there that I'm going to make a update on the rings I bought in 2021. In December 2021 I started my luxury jewelry journey and I bought three rings around Christmas time. They all more or less were bought at the same time. I will not make uh, show you the packaging or anything like that here but I will link the unboxings below and or unbaggings because I bought them all in the boutique and um, I will link them below and then you can see how they came. They came all with their certificate with um, the boxes and packaging as they should come from the boutique and I'm talking about Cartier and Tiffany. That ring is my only Tiffany purchase and I'm very happy about, about this purchase. It's holding up very well, but we are going into it now in depth. So this is the Tiffany ring. This is the love ring we will be talking about. And this is the clue ring we will be talking about. And as you can see for Cartier, I choose the small sizes. And uh, my first purchase was the Cartier wedding band and the Enclou. I bought them exactly the same day in the exact same purchase. And I bought them together to stack them. One day later, I realized after trying it on at home that I didn't love the wedding band. I felt it was too narrow and I went to the store to try to exchange it. Mind you, I have not worn it. I took it from the store home and um, I didn't wear it. I just looked at my hand and showed it to my family and we decided that it was a little thin and I wanted to return it. The very next day, it didn't even pass 24 hours. That time, like I mentioned, that was my first Cartier purchase. I didn't have an SA, I didn't know anyone in the store. So I went there and met a SA and he took a magnifying glass out and said to me, we cannot return it. And I was like, oh well, okay. And I said to him, you know, it's under 24 hours. I didn't wear it and I really like, don't want to return it necessarily. I would like to exchange it just for the thicker band and he said to me no so I went home and um, thought how I'm going to wear it and changed up my stack and now I love the wedding band but on my wish list is the thicker band still the the thicker Cartier love band so that's on my wish list I didn't purchase it yet but I might eventually so the way I wear my rings now since December 2021 you will see in most of my videos I'm wearing them that way if in a video you see it's not that way that means for the video I changed it up to give you a little bit variety but in everyday life every day since December 2021 I wear my rings like this. And because for me the clue stacking up with the love wedding band didn't work, I started um, day, the next day, the day they told me you cannot exchange, I started wearing it like this with the Tiffany true ring. And we will get into wear and tear also, but I want to first give you an overview and then we will go into wear and tear. So I wear it always exactly the same way. I wear the nail head down, the head on uh, the nail head down and the tip on top and on top of that I wear the Tiffany True ring. On the other side I wear my engagement ring and the love ring. And that's how it is every single day. And um uh, as you guys know I also have the um uh, love bracelet and the um, clue so I feel even although I mixed it up on my fingers it still um, looks nice together and looks coherent and cohesive so and now I'm telling you about the wear and tear and we will look also focused on it with the camera 
but I am telling you right now the love wedding band i don't even look at it i don't bother about it like with my love bracelets it has scratches all over all over the place the onclu is not as scratched but also has some um, tiny scratches on the nail head and the tiffany true ring has nowhere and i'm telling you also that i don't really clean like very vigorously my jewelry i wear them every day 24 7 i shower with them and do everything with them and i don't have a supersonic cleaner i am not a fan of the supersonic cleaner because they loosen up stones and um that's too uh, risky for me and i don't have a supersonic cleaner i do have the cartier cleaning kit uh, real life tv give me one second so i picked it up and here we are again i have the cartier cleaning um, kit so that comes with a little instruction booklet it comes with that uh, wipe here and then it has a cleaning solution and i was told by various essays this is just soap with water because when during covid they didn't have it and they always said it's anyway just soap, soap and water and then it comes with the little brush i've never ever used this little brush for anything because i want to keep the jewelry as untouched as possible i also hardly use this cleaning kit what i use to you to clean all my jewelry and um, my earrings my necklaces and my bracelets i didn't clean yet because they are attached to me when i'm under the sh and they are all metal so when i shower i soak them a little bit up and rinse them a little extra with warm hot water and um, that's it for the bracelets but my necklaces and my earrings and my nose pin and my rings i will take a bowl i will put hot water in the bowl i will put dawn dish soap in the bowl stir it up and leave it there i will repeat that within the hour two or three times and then let let it sit overnight and then in the, at the next day you will see all these little particles coming out and then I take a strainer and just run it under warm water and it's beautiful and shiny and everything is fine so I don't use supersonic cleaner I don't use a brush I don't do none of that and um, I also didn't clean my rings before I'm showing it to you because I want you to see exactly how they look and i'm taking you down now so you guys here are all three rings this is the onclu this is the um, love ring and this one is the tiffany tree t true ring and we are starting with the love ring because as i mentioned before this has so much wear it's not even uh, worth it looking at it, but you will see. So here we are. You can see all these hairline scratches. And like with the vachetta of the Louis Vuitton bags, they will call it patina. And I honestly don't mind. This will happen to the love bracelet too. I wear it every day. I go about my way and I don't bother at all. You can see also here at the corner, there are some dents. You can see it here also. There are some dents on the edges because I do really literally everything wearing them. And when you buy, you always be aware. The Cartier Love Ring, 18 karat gold in general, but because the Cartier Love Ring has a very shiny surface at first and is high polished, 
it will scratch up like this but i love how this looks like i said at the beginning i'm still even having the thicker one on my wish list despite all that you see here despite the scratches despite the dents jewelry is meant to wear and um, this just shows that i wore it and how many drawers I do in my daily life. So here you see a little bit thicker scratch. These are all these hairline scratches and um, some dents on the edges. And that's exactly how the ring will edge. Now we are looking next at the um, clue and like I said it has a little less scratches because it has a little less surface but of course it also has scratches. Nothing you use will stay flawless. This also has been worn every single day and has some scratches but no significant dents or anything like that. That's the own clue. So now we are looking at the Tiffany True Ring. The Tiffany True Ring looks to me exactly like the day when I bought it and I'm highly focused here with my camera it has dents and scratches exactly like the other ones but because it does not have the shiny even surface like the love ring or the nail head you hardly can see them you hardly can see them and the ring is on my finger since December 2021 all of them are but this to me has the least wear the Tiffany true ring and I love all the three rings but this one was a great purchase I'm very happy I got this one and I'm even thinking of getting another one because this one comes in different sizes it comes in a thicker size also and I tried that on in the store but didn't like it but when I bought it in December 2021 I also tried on to double stack it like two on top of each other and I really loved this and since I have some rose gold jewelry now I'm thinking of getting a rose gold um, ring and stack it together but um, not right now but that definitely is on my wish list here you can see how it looks from the side it's a very beautiful well-made ring there's also a bracelet tried that on too when i was looking at the own clue i was thinking alternatively of this one to um, go with my um, love bracelet but at the end I decided against it because of certain reasons and went for the um, clue bracelet. But the ring I love and wear every day and highly, highly recommend. So do you guys, the rings are back on and I hope you like this video. If you have any further questions, please leave me a comment, Instagram me. I'm happy to um, help and let you know what I think or know if I missed something here in the video. But in a nutshell or at the end, as a fazit, I can say that I would buy all three rings again as they are if I would want to change anything in these purchases like i said i would have most likely taken the thicker band here not the thin wedding band and i might have gotten the um, clue with the diamond head but i'm not sure because cartier's up price for diamonds is extreme for my understanding or perception so i'm not really sure so i'm happy with what i have and I will keep on wearing them as they are. 
and um, let me please know in the comments how do you clean your jewelry do you use a supersonic cleaner did you experience any loosening of stones um, please let me know and i hope i will see you in the next one bye